Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we'll be reviewing NECA's Frankenstein. That's right. Universal Monsters Frankenstein. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one since they announced it. Uh, I am totally into anything Universal Monsters. Obviously, representing a little creature from the Black Lagoon today. Sadly, I don't have any Frankenstein shirts, but eventually, eventually. Anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm a classic Universal Monster fan. And when they announced this, I was hoping for an entire line. And uh, they're not going to disappoint us at all. They've announced Dracula, the Mummy, and they just got through teasing Wolfman, actually. So that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, we will crack into this box right now. Frankie stands perfectly fine on his own. He's a fairly hefty figure, by the way. Uh, he comes with two heads. Three sets of hands. Uh, an open hand, a grab hand, and then sort of a holding hand. Uh, he also comes with shackles and some daisies. Of course, we know that scene in particular. Although it always reminds me of young Frankenstein when uh, he ends up with the girl on a seesaw and then he hits it so hard, setting down, it flings her all the way back into her bedroom window. And that movie cracks me up, but um, it doesn't go so well in the original Frankenstein. Anyway... Uh, Frankie is pretty sizable, especially height-wise. If you were to compare him to other figures, you could try him with Ash. As you can see, pretty tall. And uh, that's pretty much his height throughout uh, NECA's other lines of figures. But yeah, nice and tall. And well done. The sculpt for his clothing is pretty amazing. But even more amazing is the sculpt for his heads, hands, and, and all the little details. His clothing, however, is just pretty much straight black, uh, with the exception of some highlights. Uh, you'll see sort of a gray tone all over this figure. On the boots, it's more of a brown and gray. Uh, the only thing that stands out from this clothing is his black shirt underneath the jacket. And that's pretty much because there's no paint on it. It's just straight black. So it does stand out a little bit, which is fine. It kind of separates the clothing quite a bit for us. As far as the rest of the paint, <laughs> I've got to tell you, it's extremely well done. Uh, as you can see on these two heads, the hair is black with some highlight. And then the plastic itself is sort of a green-gray and over that are some washes and the washes are really well done instead of just being splotched on like normal wash would be for NECA it seems like they took their time to actually put it in areas of the face that might need a little fleshy tone um, a little red and stuff and so it does give the figure a bit more life than you would normally find in some some of their figures same with the hands um, they're nicely painted as well his nails are sort of a, a gray green and um, yeah so it's it's just a, a really cool figure overall you'll also notice little bits of silver where metal is uh, and then blood and stuff is with inside the surgical wounds or scars so really well done of course like I mentioned he does come with three heads one being the main portrait which is just a standard look for him then you have an angry face and what would ultimately be a Frankenstein derp face <laughs> if there ever was such a thing back then of course again the hands you have open palm hands you have what sort of a grabbing hand 
and then of course a holding hand for the daisies. Um, he does come with shackles for his wrists. I don't know if these open up or they're just for looks. Maybe you can take the hands off, put the shackles on. Uh, they're not actually made of metal, but they kind of look like they're made of metal. The coloring is sort of a gray silver with a brown wash. Uh, fairly convincing on those. The daisies, eh, they're kind of lacking, but I mean, what would they... I mean, what would you really do with uh, paint jobs on daisies? They're green, they're white, and they're uh, yellow. So, uh, pretty good there. Um, I mean, all, ultimately, this this is a, a really great figure and an amazing entry into the line. I can't wait to see what they do with the rest of the figures, to be honest with you. If they're anything like this, they'll be pretty amazing. They did tease Wolfman. It was a pretty small, crummy teaser. Uh, and I felt the paint was off on that quite a bit. So we'll really just kind of have to see. Uh, they said that they would release the full thing, or at least a prototype view of it, um, sometime in the next week. Uh, to to be honest with you, I think, um, I think their paint was off a little the belt wasn't the right color the pants wasn't the right color but we'll just have to see but anyway this has been my review of uh, NECA's Frankenstein figure and hopefully you'll stick around as each one of these come out I'll review them as well thanks